Hey what's up guys, welcome to this incredibly special FIFA 17 video with me boy FIFA 1 HD where we're going to be taking a look at my top 5 inform cards that won't break the bank but will provide goal after goal after goal and great results because they are just so overpowered, so cheap, no matter whether you've got tons of coins or barely any coins at all, they're affordable and they're well worth using because these guys are just so overpowered, so beastly, it is unreal. So we're going to kick off with my first pick, which is Dwight Gale and his 80 rated second informed gold card, which as you can see by the stats is phenomenal. 87 pace and 85 shooting is what first attracted me to this card. Those stats you would pay through the nose for if it was like someone like Sanchez as a striker card or something like that. You'd be like, wow, what a player, you know what I mean? But this is on a, a, a guy from the championship, Dwight Gale, and he's incredible. I mean, some people will be put off by the fact that he is in the championship. That's why his price is so cheap. But because of these stats, he's so worth investing the time to put into a team. And it's very easy because he is English. So there's loads of people you can put around him. People like Sterling, Walcott, Zahar, Barkley, Rooney. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. There's so many good English players that are quite cheap. Or there's some that you, if you want to spend a little bit more on, you can do that as well. Easy to get into a team. Once in the team, he is exceptional with his finishing. And that is why you are picking him. He's got great attack positioning. He's got brilliant pace. And his shooting is deadly. No matter whether he's one-on-one, -on -one, outside the box, he's got it all. I mean, this guy can finish from anywhere. He's got great shot power, good long shots. His definite strength is one-on-one -on -one finishing for sure. But like I said, he can score from absolutely anywhere. He's actually not too bad at heading as well. He actually comes with some really good heading stats. So overall, just a very clinical striker that you definitely have to use. Currently going for like 22k. And for that, you just cannot knock that price at all. So cheap, so overpowered, definitely well worth using. We move on to our next player now who in a similar vein, you will have to uh, adapt into a squad or build a special squad for this player, but definitely worth going out and doing it because Musa Sal is one of my top picks in this video. He's incredible for so many reasons. Just look at the base card stats on him and you will see how good he is. 87 pace, 86 shooting, mind-blowing, straight off the bat, 80 physical, 84 dribbling, 75 passing, what a play. It reminds me of like a previous Hulk in form card or something like that, where you've just got such a beastly strong player with such fast player stats. You know, you've got the great two combined there and then you throw in amazing finishing as well. And it just, it's mind blowing how this is so cheap because this card should be so expensive. The reason why he's so cheap is because he's playing in the Turkish league and people don't really want to build squads around that league because there's not as many good players and good links uh, as other leagues like you know the Spanish league, the English league, etc. where you can fit players in very, very easily. But let me tell you, it's not that difficult. You can build a squad around this guy. I've done it. I'll leave a link to a video where I do a squad builder on this card and how to fit him in the team and just show you how OP he is, even more so in greater detail. So I'll leave that at the end of this video. So it is possible. And once you get him into the team, my God, is he incredible. 87 pace. He's absolutely rapid. Very, very quick. He's got phenomenal shooting. He's lovely dribbling as well. And he can just score from anywhere because he's got such good shot power. He literally rips the net off the goal. His shots are that strong. As you'll see with some of the clips in this video, he shot from anywhere and it just seemed to go in. Whether he was, you know, under pressure, close range, one on one, miles out, it just didn't matter with Musa Sal. He was that good. He scored that many goals for me, it was unreal, and I would highly recommend him. Currently going for like 25k, and for that price, you just cannot knock what a player he is. Like I said, you can build a very cheap squad around him, and you will not be disappointed. 
Now we move on to uh, an interesting player now, not necessarily a goal scoring player like the other two in our lineup, but someone who can actually do that, and that is Nabei Keita. I'll just put him in here. Now this card was one that took me by surprise a little bit because he was so good for the price. He cost me about 25 to 27k. Very solid no matter where he finds himself on the pitch. As you can see, his stats are so well rounded. It reminds me like of a Yaya Toure sort of player. And what a player he is. I mean, whether you play him at Cam, Central Mid, CDM, he's going to do you a job all over the pitch. He's got great pace. 82 pace is brilliant, especially if you play him in those defensive areas because it means that he's going to stop a lot of people and anyone who gets past him, he's going to be able to track them down and win the ball back with ease because he's got really nice defensive stats. He's also got really good physicality as well, so he can hold his own in that realm. He's quite tall, so he wins the ball in the air. And when he has the ball, he's got fantastic dribbling, can get himself out of tight situations, play the ball off with his lovely passing. He can play some really great defence splitting passes with his passing. And when he's in front of goal, he's very clinical there too. He's got 75 shooting, which is decent, especially for a more defensive sort of well-rounded player. 75 shooting is very good. I scored some great goals, both from long range, close range. It didn't matter. This guy will pop up with goals pop up with assists and make some great tackles at the same time. So I highly recommend fitting him into your Bundesliga teams because he is insane. Now we move on to our penultimate player in this list, which is Giuliano. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Uh, and it's his 83 rated card. Now there's a few uh, of these cards popping about. So we're looking at the 83 rated card. I highly advise playing him at Cam. Now, Obviously, this card, again, is quite cheap. Uh, it's currently going for around sort of 28k. And it's cheap because of the league. You know, the Russian league, people aren't as interested in using as much. Uh, but that doesn't matter. This guy is so easy to fit into a team because of his nation being Brazil. And there's tons of Brazilian players in so many leagues. So a really good player for hybrids. And, and uh, Cam is so easy to fit into teams without messing everything up so much you can just put a few brazilian players around him mix it in super easy and you've got a great player that is going to pull the strings for your team no question at all because he's got brilliant stats he's so good with the ball at his feet he's got brilliant dribbling there at 86 fantastic passing and shooting you know he can do it all this guy and he's got really good pace 83 he's decent uh Physicality stats overall, so he's got very good agility and balance, making him hard to knock off the ball. Overall, a fantastic playmaker that can score goals, create goals. He moves around the pitch well with his pace. Very nice passing. This guy is bound to get you goal after goal and lots of assists. And he's very fun to use with five-star skills. I highly recommend using him. Very, very good player indeed. And we move on to our final player in this list, which is one of my favourites, and that is Inform Jermaine Defoe. Now, there is also a Squad Builder Challenge card of this card. At, well, they're virtually the same. There's a very few minor differences, but overall, very similar. So if you already have that card, you'll probably already know how good he is. But if you don't have that card, you missed out, go and buy his Inform card, because it is incredible. He is so, so good. I advise putting the Hunter card onto it because that makes his pace even better. Now, people will look at his pace and think, oh, well, he's not that quick. I don't want to use him. 80 pace isn't that much. But when you put that Hunter card on him, man, he feels absolutely rapid, I promise you. And when he is in the positions that he will get into because he's got such good attack positioning, his pace is very nice as well. He is deadly. I mean, literally deadly. 88 shooting is phenomenal. He's got such good finishing. 89 finishing is just insane. 85 long shots. His positioning there is 90. I mean, this guy finds the ball in places you couldn't imagine him getting the ball. You know, he makes such intelligent runs. And when he does... He finishes pretty much 9 out of 10 times it's hitting the back of the net. And that's exactly what you want. 
for a card that's currently costing about 35k so one of the more expensive cards in this lineup I think he's well worth the coins. He's also got really good dribbling, decent passing. He's quite hard to knock off the ball because he's got good agility and balance. Overall, I highly recommend going out and using any of these players within this video because they're all super good. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you did. Also, leave a comment if you think I've missed anyone out or if you've used any of these players and you've loved them too. And make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And peace.